Hello YouTube. Today we're looking at Star Citizen version 0.9 patch series 13 as I think they call it internally. <coughs> I have to uh, say excuse me but I'm just getting over a cold slash sinus infection so if I have to clear my throat, cough or something like that, I apologize for doing that on video, not professional, but uh, um, it is kind of what it is. Now this was released yesterday, I downloaded it overnight, and I've been playing it off and on this morning. A uh, couple minor differences, um, we got new hangers. This is the what used to be called the business hanger. Um, but a couple of things that I've noted uh, thus far, we have track IR support. Uh, I'm uploading a video right now where I'm in the Hornet and I'm kind of testing against asteroids how well uh, aiming with track IR works with uh, versus mouse and keyboard. Um, initially, I have to say it, it's doable, but I have just the track clip. Um, I will be ordering the track clip pro uh, at some point this afternoon. So next week I will have the track clip pro in and uh, well, that's the three LD, LED lights that you mount to your uh, headset. And since normally I do play the game with a headset, we'll see how well that works. Um, then I don't necessarily have to wear a baseball cap all the time, which um, sometimes it gets annoying. Um, but to be able to look around the cockpits of the ship and stuff like that is just absolutely amazing. It's, it's really what I've been waiting for. Uh, I've flown the M50. You're going to see that there's been a change to my ship lineup yet again. I had, I think, about $90 in um, credits uh, from melting various auroras. I had a fleet of auroras at one time. It would have made Test uh, Squadron very happy. But um, after playing with it a little bit, I realized I was never going to be flying the aurora in the Persistent Universe. So there's no point in even having them. So here we are. We're loaded in. Uh, ooh. Track IR not wanting to work. Oh, well, that's interesting. I don't have track IR support right now. Uh, the device sees me, but uh, I think. All right. Well, track IR is there, but. Track IR is not working in game at the moment. Huh. That's interesting. So after a restart, Track IR isn't working. So I was hoping to have to get to show you some of the Track IR stuff. Um, but it, it's all of a sudden not wanting to work anymore. And these two ships seem to flip-flop places. But this is the new business hangar. Uh... Options. Audio. Huh, it saved it this time. Last time it didn't save. So now we're on low and uh, they're kind of rendered. So my Avenger still not in game. We were hoping kind of for that, but we did get the uh, 350R and the M50. Well, I did have another 315P. It's now an M50. I wanted to try it out more than less likely before the weekend is out. That is going to become a another ship of some kind uh, the three <coughs> excuse me it'll probably become a 350 R um, handling uh, when we get into actual flight although I'm gonna try exiting out here real quick and reloading star citizen <laughs> see what happens but track IR was working now it's not okay I'm getting dual lights on the track IR now so before I was just getting the one 
so maybe it's recognizing it this time. I don't know why it wasn't before, but uh, let's see if it loads in here. But we still don't have bindable controls. My joystick still doesn't work uh, when I have my multifunction displays plugged in, and just as busy I am in, in life, real, real life right now, I don't have time to go unplug them and then basically lose all my bindings for Falcon BMS and uh, go through and reset those up because setting up Falcon BMS is a pain. There's like 400 key binds. So that can take a better part of an afternoon to get all of that crap reconfigured. So I'm just not going to bother. Um, Star Citizen still needs a bindable control screen. And uh, while well, I'm happy to see Track IR make it in there, you know, why it's been so difficult on their prior to uh, prioritization to get a bindable key system working, I have no idea. Um, still no CH profiles, but that's no big deal because the CH community has probably built a better profile using Control Manager um, than uh, CIG probably would. Um, and also some custom XML files that are floating out there and about. However, I will say this. We do have strafing, strafing controls. In fact, I have flown the M50, I have flown the 300i, I have flown the Hornet. And the flight controls and schemes in 0.9 versus 0.8 is a tremendous improvement. Um, the game is flying much closer to how I was originally envisioning and, and uh, anticipating. Now, do you get that drift motion when you're trying to, you know, overcome velocity in a certain direction? Yes. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, there was a maneuver in the Wing Commander series called the Afterburner Slide that you could kind of do that a little bit. I was expecting it from previous Chris Roberts games, also from Diaspora, other Newtonian-esque games. So, and here we go. Okay, now Track IR is working. Why it wasn't wanting to work before, I don't know. But now it is working. So, as I said, we'll, we'll look at the 350M here. You know, it is a hot, little hot rod, but I think it's going to turn into a uh, 350R before it's all said and done. Um, when it comes to combat and things like that, believe it or not, I do prefer to have speed over anything else, because in these games, if you can go faster than the other guy, you can dictate the terms of the battle. So speed, to me, is a little bit more important than firepower, because you always have the option of running away and if the other guy can't catch you there's nothing he can do I guess he or she I mean it is a slick looking ship don't get me wrong uh, I just don't think it's necessarily the ship for me I think I would prefer to have 350R so that might change here there's the 325A and the uh, Avenger I was hoping that the Avenger would make an appearance but Sadly, not so far. Looks like we have a elevator shaft here. This is the new business hangar. Uh, oh, hey. Well, at least I'm not falling through the door. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to, though, with track IR and everything. So we can go up here. Now, there's some brand name for this now, but uh, I was able to do... Yep, here I am. I'm a headless pilot. They've, they've got a little bit of work to do on that. The camera position and track IR, because as it stands right now, you can do a horror movie where you're twisting your neck 180 degrees. Brings a whole new definition to check six. So again, these are on the lowest detail settings. Uh, this is a 750 Ti graphics card. Uh, the machine itself is a uh, quad-core Xenon E3 1245V2, uh, which was whatever the previous generation of um, i7s were. Uh, whatever was it, Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge? I can't, I can't keep them all straight. It's roughly equivalent to a 3770 um, i7 3770 in terms of processor power. 16 gigs of air correcting RAM. It's not the fastest RAM I think on the market. It is air correcting though. This is a workstation that I converted. Uh, 750 Ti being the most video card I could put in it without a um, new power supply. 
That being said, um, I actually have a new box sitting here uh, that has a 750 watt power supply in it in the case. Uh, the actual computer components in it are going to be completely gutted, but that's going to be the start of a new PC build. Um, I will probably complete sometime later this year, early next year. Budget needs to recover just a little bit from wedding and other stuff and going to Europe on honeymoon. So this looks nice. Whee! Can I jump up? Nope, not so much. Oh, I guess it must activate automatically when you get in. So I didn't press a button or anything. Unta. Wir gehen unter. Yes, yeah, so I spent way too much time in German-speaking countries the past couple weeks. But that's okay, because I like German-speaking countries. So get into the M50 here. Now, hopefully my mouth's mouth... Bleh. Mouse doesn't um, spaz out here. It did earlier. Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and fly the M50 because uh, private matches. I'll have to get with some people and. Uh, Start playing some of those matches. Drone sim. Classic race. So I guess this is the single player race scenario. I have no idea what's going on and my control is going to be absolutely horrible because I just can't do mouse and keyboard type controls uh, in a flight game. Um, I need my HOTAS. And again, until they get the situation where I can select from devices and configure, you know, what devices I have connected. And this gets important. <coughs> Excuse me. But this gets important when we're starting to talk about six axes, uh, independent axes of control, which we do now have, uh, which is going to make flying a lot better uh, overall. Uh, it's going to open up a whole range of uh, strafing maneuvers and things like that that we're going to be able to do and that we now are able to do. Now I haven't tried to actually hit anything with weapons yet but apparently that's become a lot more difficult and I think the reason behind that is the freelancer fans have gone from point and click and shoot in a twitch based environment to one where twitch is secondary to flight capabilities. I have a feeling that if my HOTAS system was working I would be uh, really laying on some pain on uh, some people um, with a joystick just because I'd be able to now outfly them. It, it's no longer twitch gunnery skills like a first person shooter in space. It's now flight skills trump twitch. And people are going to have to learn how to fly. And I don't think a lot of people were, I don't know, I think they got used to how it was as opposed to I think how it was really supposed to be. Uh oh. Oh, maybe we can't just move yet. But right now, it's like my heretical isn't really centered. It's kind of weird. So, this is the one. Whoa, hello. Again, I'm not used to flying. Oh, jeez. Didn't really. This is why I don't fly with mouse and keyboard. But at any rate, yeah, this isn't going to end well. Like I said, mouse and keyboard for flight just never going to work. 
But it's interesting that we are kind of in atmosphere. It's very pretty. I'm just going to kind of fly around here. But it, it's very awkward to me to fly, especially with head tracking and uh, all of this. Very pretty. But yeah, flying for me with mouse and keyboard just never, ever going to work. If I had my joystick, and this gets into bindable controls. In Elite Dangerous, in order for this to work, where I have full control of uh, all my axes using the mini stick on the CH throttle, um, it basically requires... I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of here and... and discuss about this. It requires me to set up the two devices as um, or basically two joysticks. Uh, I set it up as CH device 1 and CH device 2. CH device 1 is my primary fighter stick uh, XY axes whereas my uh, device 2 is just the mini stick. And then device 1 has all of my buttons. All the other buttons on the throttle um, stick and pedals and again I don't, I don't think that uh, Star Citizen is really set up to handle multiple joysticks and stuff like that yet and until it is I'm not going to be playing it quite frankly um, there's no sense in me playing uh, the game until uh, you know half acidly until we really get all those features we need here now I could kind of fake it and put uh, the uh, strafing thrusters onto one of the four-way hat switches and then just map them to keyboard key inputs. Uh, that would work. Um, but I've developed a lot of muscle memory in Elite um, that frankly would carry over to this game. And, uh, you know, I'm used to using that mini stick. And uh, because then you have variant control, it's just not it's on or off it's I can thrust a little bit I can thrust you know a lot I have a little bit more control over um, the amount of force being applied uh, which makes it a little bit more precise so I think that's kind of my real quick initial impressions with version 0.9 I'm sure when I get a little bit more time to kind of sit down and observe and, and think about things I'll uh, come out with a, a little bit more thoughts, but this is just kind of my initial impressions after about an hour or so um, playing around with point nine. It's certainly better. Much, much better. The, the flight controls are a lot smoother. Um, ship responsiveness seems to be a lot better. I'm glad to see six control or control of six degrees or six in, independent axes. Um, you know, until I can get my joysticks and stuff to work. Uh, and, you know, I guess I'm going to have to take a look and see and think about it the rest of the day on just how much I'm going to be playing Falcon 4 over the next few months. Maybe I can go ahead and, and disconnect my dis display devices or my multifunction displays and see if I can't get it working and, and do another series of joystick reviews and things like that. But I was really wanting to get into some of the more complex setups where I'm pairing a T16000M with a X52 throttle or dual stick setup with a, a, an Attack 3 in the Logitech Xtreme 3D Pro or two T16000Ms. Uh, I really wanted to get in and explore some more of those setups. And uh, you know, as it is right now, I'm still not able to do so. And um, I was really hoping that we would be able to. So, well, those are my initial impressions as I go through uh, version 0.9. A step in the right direction, um, but still not quite there yet. So, hopefully, they'll make some iterative improvements. And I hope that we get this bindable key screen in here sooner rather than later. I mean, this is. If that would work, and if I could get that to work, um, I think that would solve my biggest gripes with uh, Star Citizen right now. 
So thank you very much for watching, and be sure to like, share, uh, leave com negative comments about how wrong I am about everything uh, on the videos. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because they'll... If they get that bindable key screen, so my controllers all suddenly start working out of the box uh, with this game, um, I will be doing a lot more Star Citizen reviews. I will probably up the video card um, by the end of the year. Uh, so go from a 750 Ti probably to a 780 series. Uh, you know, maybe an 880 depending on what gets released and what the specs and stuff like that are. And, uh, well, you know, we'll see where things kind of go from there, but, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.